user profiles allow users accessing domain joint computers access their documents and have a consistent desktop experience. In other words, a roaming user profile will contain all of the personalization, customizations, and other settings related to your user profile such as applications, remembering toolbar positions and preferences or desktop appearances while keeping all the related files stored locally. In order to create a roaming profile, the first thing we need to do is to open your server manager, go to tools and open Active Directory users and computers. On your Active Directory users and computers, navigate to a OU which contains some users and we need to create a group which is basically a security group which we will add these users. So I'm going to right click in here on the left hand pane. I'm going to select new and I'm going to select group. I'm going to call this group the IT group. You can call it whatever you like. And it is going to be a security group and it is global and I'm going to click OK. Once you have created this group, I'm going to add these users to that group. To do that, I'm going to select all my users. I'm going to right click. Then I will select the option called add to a group. And in here, I'm going to search for IT group. So I'm going to say IT group and I'm going to say check names. And now we have the group showing up here. So I'm going to click OK. And I will get a message saying the add to group operation was successfully completed. And if I click OK, and if I go in here and click on the type, I will have the group at the top and the users at the bottom. So if I click on this uh, IT group, and if I go to the members, I see that these members right here are now added to that IT group. So we will be using this IT security group or IT group to assign permission to the folder in which we will create the roaming user profiles. So next thing we need to do is to create a folder in which we can do that. So I will open my file explorer. I will go to this PC and I'm going to go to my server data E drive, but you can put it anywhere you like. So I'm going, just going to go to server data E drive. Then we will right click on here, go to new and select folder. And we're going to name this folder roaming profiles. You can name whatever you like. I just call it roaming profiles. Next thing I'm going to do is to right click on this folder, go to properties, go to sharing tab and click advanced sharing. And in here, I'm going to select the option called share this folder. And as always, I'm going to make this thing network, uh, you know, suitable by creating roaming underscore profile. So basically I'm, I have eliminated any white space, which is a good practice in networking. And I'm going to put a dollar sign at the end, making it a hidden folder. Then I will click on this option called permissions. And in here under everyone, I'm going to change it from read access to full control. So right now everybody have the full control and I'm going to click apply and OK. And here advanced sharing, I will also going to click apply and OK. So now we have a network path, which is this path, which I can copy and use it to, you know, add it to our profiles. And next thing we need to do is to go to the security tab. And in here, we're going to select advance. And we're going to change the inheritance to disable inheritance. So we're going to change the inheritance mode to, uh, to remove some items from here. So we're going to click disable inheritance. And on this block inheritance window, we're going to select the option called convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions on this object. And that will give you the disable window. We need to remove two items from here. 
those are the users because these are the domain users. If we have these two groups, uh, sorry, these two items in here, these permission entries gonna allow everybody on your network, everybody on your domain to access this folder. And they can go anywhere they like, which we don't want to happen because these gonna be personal uh, user profiles for each individual. So we're gonna remove uh, the users with read and execute and users with special permission. So we're gonna click remove and we're gonna click remove. Next thing we need to do is to add that IT group so that they will have permission to access this folder. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click add button here and we're gonna select the option called select a principal and I'm gonna type IT group and check names and it'll go and find that group. So they found the IT groups. That is the group that we created in our Active Directory right here. So that's the group that we just added. So then we're gonna click OK. And that will ha add the IT groups into this uh, you know, particular permission section. Then we will change what type of uh, allow that we're gonna have. So we're gonna have allow or deny. So we're gonna have allow, but Instead of having this folder, subfolders and files, we're gonna change it to this folder only. So it's gonna restrict the permission allow to this folder only. Next, we will click on show advanced permissions. And in here, we're gonna select create files slash write data and create folders slash append data. This will allow the users to create folders and files within their particular folder category. Next, we're gonna click OK, click Apply, click OK, and we can close this window. If you haven't copied this uh, sharing path, uh, go to the sharing tab and make sure you copy the sharing path because we need this information next on our Active Directory. So if you have done that already, you can close this window as well. Next step is to attach this shareable folder to our users. So we will go back to our Active Directory users and computers. And in here, we can find our users where we will be attaching this particular roaming profiles. So I will be doing in the ITOU. So I have two options. Either I can select one of the users, right click, go to properties, and we can go to the profile tab and in here, we can paste that path that we copied and we're gonna put backslash right here and we're gonna put percentage, username, percentage. So it's percentage, username, percentage. And if I click apply, you will notice, I will copy this one so it's easy for me to uh, you know, keep it on clipboard. But if I apply here, what's gonna happen is that username, percentage username has now changed to its uh, you know, profile username. For example, this user's profile username is showing up here now. So by doing that percentage username percentage, it will automatically convert the that particular variable into the account username, which is H in, for this particular user, is HKU001, and that has been changed right here. So I'm gonna click okay. So now that user has that information. But the other users, you have to go back and do the same thing. But instead, what we can also do is select all the users, then right click, click properties, and go to profile tab, and select the profile path, and paste the same uh, you know, uh, item, which is the, the shared path and percentage username percentage, and click apply and click OK. So what this did is instead of going one at a time and going to profile tab and entering everything, now each of these users have that automatically added as a mass addition. So that's what that has done uh, by doing that. Also notice for our users Sanuja Sena Nayaka, for example, we not only have a profile path, we also have a home drive path. I have already explained what is a home drive, 
and how to attach it to your users on my previous videos you should go ahead and check that out if you don't remember how to do that so now we have the profile paths next thing we can do is test if this profile paths are working so currently if i go into this folder server data e and if i go to roaming profiles when i click on it the fold is completely empty there's nothing there this is because no one has logged in since the profile path has been implemented so let's go to our windows 11 machine and i will log in with my sanuja senanayaka account now once the login has been done if we go back to our windows server 2022 and open the roaming profiles you can see that we have a folder called san001.v6 which is basically a roaming profile folder attached to that particular user and in this case that user is going to be san001.v6 the reason why the profiles are showing up like this is because if we go to our active directory users and computers and select the sanuja senanayake user we can see under the profile uh, his name is San, san001 under account we see that his login name is san001 and that is what the window is going to use to create the profile path folders in here we can check if this user has a roaming profile and it is working by going back to our windows 11 machine and making sure the user is logged in going into our settings under the system we will go into the about tab and click advanced system settings and you will need administrative privileges to access this and once you are there under the advanced tab we will click on the settings options under user profiles and for san001 we have the type listed as roaming so this is the only user right now logged into this system that has a roaming profile and it shows that this user have the ability to roam in other words every single time this user log into any other device on this network with windows operating systems all their personalization options going to show up with this roaming profile I would also like to point out one more thing on our Active Directory domain controller on our Windows Server 2022. If we double click and open Sanuja Senanayake user, and if we go to profile tab, in here we have user profile section and we have home folder section. Home part is where you share whatever the data that your users stored so those are personal files for example home folder path right here is the personal files that your user going to save and that is what we attach here the user profile path is what is basically the roaming profile path roaming profile path is the one that contain all the personalization customization settings such as the desktop background information and where are the icons on the desktop etc i have already posted few videos on how you can create home folders and some options related to that and if you are interested in home folders please go and watch that video and another somewhat related item that you may come across is called the folder redirection which i will cover in one of my future lecture videos so as IT students, please make sure that you have a complete understanding or better understanding of differences between profile path, home folder paths, and folder redirections. And as I mentioned in my future videos, I will cover the differences in depth so that you will understand those topics as well. That's everything for today. If you like these type of videos, please make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a nice day.